All right, all right. Another match week. More surprises, even more so considering the news that was just shared before the start of the show. But here we are back again. Welcome, guys. Thank you for listening. And we're going to start it off with a quick bang. Let's, let's, let's get things nice and dirty. We have our two resident Chelsea fans here. So I'll just stop. Right here, you guys had your main match of the weekend. Go ahead, take it away. I'll let you guys decide where you want to start. Go ahead, please. Ooh, but hold on. Before I start, I got to take my shot. You had the game. You had the game. <laughs> Go, for Go for it. You had the game. <laughs> if, you look, if, you look, if you look up at the table, just look slightly up, you'll see a nice blue club by the name of Manchester City that, had, that showed you how to win earlier in the weekend. Um, yeah, take, take it down. <laughs> uh, damn, yeah. Zach, Zach, what do you have, you to, have to, say? to say? I mean, um, first of all, we never had that game at no point. We got lucky to even get a penalty, and so that's that's what I have to say about that game. Um, but um, we we fought hard, but I don't think we had that game. Like you said, I don't think we had it. We 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 played well, but it was a hard fought game. We got away with a point, you know. <laughs> Basically, Anthony finishes that. That's a goal. <laughs> like there, there's there, there's a few things I can point to, but um, Shex, like I said, you know, I don't think we had the game. I think we got away with a point, and that's good enough for where we are right now. As a team, yeah, I think we we we, we played we played well enough, and it was really heartbreaking not to get away with the three points. It was it, it hurt. Um, Georgino penalty, only shot on target. Thank you. Here's what it is. I feel like we could have gotten away with one. Say it. I didn't want to kept a clean sheet in how many matches in a row now? Brentford, Aston Villa, Milan, Wolves, Milan. That's like five or six right there. And then five. it just had to be Manu. Other than, other, than, other than Milan, what club did you keep a clean sheet against? Wolves, Aston Villa, Brentford. Aston <laughs> Ashton Villa, how many goals did they score? Goals? Ashton Villa scored ninety percent. Ashton Villa scored ninety percent of this of their goals this this <laughs> this season. This <laughs> right, right. But at the same time, we just played them. So those same players played. The same players that scored played us. <laughs> also, did you did you did you see the we're games and the same managers? Exactly. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, exactly. We're a different manager. You brought up. Same players that played scoring, bro. The same players. Right. So this is so, wait, so why is why is it now the same players that played like, we whooped that shit but back but back when Tuko, you know, left and you are all hyped about Potter and Potter is gonna come. Now we're gonna see the real Chelsea. So why is it different with Chelsea with the new manager? But now actually it's the same players that played. I didn't say it was different. Why did I say it was different? All I said was the same players that that scored this weekend played in the match when we played them, and we whooped them three zero. Am I wrong? No, but my point that to your point on that was that it was under a different manager. So what is the, so what <laughs> the same? Yeah, the same, 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 same team. Same team. Same team. The same players. So and then. Count. No, it and then my final point to that was, if it's not the same team, why wasn't that your same energy with Tuko and then the appointment of Potter? Why wasn't my what? What was my energy with Tuko? Oh no, because you were all excited about Chelsea. Now that Potter's coming, you saw you thinking we were turning the corner. You know things are up and up. No, yeah, I, I, I am. Like I, I, there's, I can be excited and still think that we still have levels to get to. But I'm still excited. I'm definitely more excited than I was when Tuku was here. But I still, because we can play badly and still get away with a point. But we were lo- we were playing badly and losing. That's different. If you play badly and still get away with a point, 
That's a sign of a good team. That's why I'm still excited because we didn't lose the game. We tied. <laughs> and we were up. We tied because that's a mirror God decided to open up his first goal by scoring a wonder equalizer for them. Bravo. We have great players. They have great players too. Anthony finishes with his right foot. We're down. So that's what I'm saying. We played a tough game and we were lucky to get away with a point. Even though when we went up, it felt like, okay. It felt like we had it. But at the end of the day, when I really go back and think about it, we were lucky, man. (laughs) Because we were not creating that many offensive chances. But at the end of the day, we stuck together as a team. We didn't capitulate. We bend, but we don't break. We were breaking on the Tuco. We bend, but we don't break. And that the Tuco, I don't know. I was seeing a lot of the same results in the Tuco. A lot of draws. A lot of draws. That's what I was seeing. Under Potter, we haven't lost. It was L's. We haven't lost in the Tuco either. No, under under, under Potter. <laughs> We lost three, two, three games in a row against Southampton and then the Champions League, and then we came back and drew. Okay, that's not losing. That's not losing three games in a row. We got some we got a couple big losses. Games for like the first time in like how long? Well, you know, well, you know, well, you know, even counting those wins, right? even counting losses, you know, even counting those losses, Tuchel had on one hand. Total losses at Chelsea career, no? All I know is, even when Tuchel got there the first time, was our identity attack? No, it was defense. Thank you. But our identity now is more possession. It's more attacking. Even when we defend, it's like we make controlled clearances. It's not just mindless clearances that, oh, we're, we're just clearing the ball up straight to the midfield and giving it back. No. Like, we're actually, we actually have a plan with everything we do. Even how we, we press and prep pressure. Sometimes we press with the keeper. Sometimes we, we don't. Too cool? It's like you knew how we were going to play. And it was the same way every single time. And he didn't really... Yeah, he changed the formation every now and then, but it seemed to he, he definitely time, it, it, he didn't seem to have a plan C, and this plan B didn't work. Time. Yeah, but with, but with Potter, Potter, it's always switching it up. He's like he's even more less afraid to make changes at halftime than he made was, in the which first is half. amazing. He took off his guy, his player, his he, you, you know he likes Cucurella because he. Came with him from Brighton. <laughs> so he took his son in off when I I had been screaming it. You remember the group chat? You remember what I said? <laughs> Either Cucurella or one of those guys that had to come off for Kovacic. He took off Cucurella and brought on Kovacic. To be fair, in Cucurella's defense, it wasn't like Cucurella was playing badly. It's just. He wasn't playing bad. No, Casemiro and, and uh, Erickson were bossing that midfield. Yeah, it wasn't working. We we needed a guy like Kovacic to come in. I was saying, just put Georgina on the bench for now and play Kovacic and lost his cheek. But after the game, Butter said Kovacic played with a knee injury. So that's what okay. I understand. He's, play, he's still playing with an injury. His knee is still injured. So I can okay. understand him not starting him. But like, that's how I'm looking at our free, and we just offered coaches a new contract. Really? After that game. We did? Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, 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 we're in talks, basically. It's not finalized, but like, we're like, all right, we're, we're ready to give you a new contract. But, I see not, I see you're trying to replace Ryola. <laughs> but Ryola. basically, what I'm saying is, Oh, he's not long. He's not wrong. They really handed that man forty million dollar, forty million euro valuation. Just up that until game, bro. summer of twenty twenty four. Yep, told us everything we needed to know about Mateo Kovacic. <laughs> he needs to start with Loftus Cheek. I already love it because Grand Potter finds Loftus Cheek in high favor, and that's great. That's already great for us. 
<laughs> All right, we, we can now take that next step. But Kovacic, I understand. I understand why he didn't start um, his, his knee. All right. But now I, I see us going to new heights. I, I still do, even with, with this draw. It's he literally nice. left it all on the pitch. So, yes. since I'm, so this question, yes. Zach, I, Zach, I do want to hear from you, but Shanks, I want to hear from you first on this one. So, taking all that Zach had said into account, what where do you go? Where do you guys go from here? Because right now you're fifth in the table, according to some people. That's good enough. <clears throat> but again, uh, 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 it's it's not it's not good enough at all. I feel like. Third I mean, place is said, definitely right there for the taking. It, it's it's not it's it's not, but it's pretty decent. I'm not we complaining. We could be worse. Win that game. So we're up to twenty four points, and we're third. Oh. <laughs> we we need we need to we need to um. Who are we playing this? We need to keep the momentum going, especially okay. in the Champions League. We need to win that group come back to the Premier League and just get another run of wins. Like, we won six in a row. We, we drew the first one under Potter, won six, drew another one. Next game, we go again and just keep up, keep climbing the table. And I don't know okay. where, where else to go from there. Just keep climbing the table. You guys think you, you're good with the squad you have, or do you think you need to get some reinforcements in January? Uh, well... Yes, that we definitely need some. We definitely, we're definitely going to get some. Uh, Bowley, Bowley is is going to sign some talented youngsters. Um, I don't know about youngsters. From what I'm reading, that man is trying to give Ronaldo an out. Uh, players, the only person I see is like Liao. Who is not getting Liao in January? He's too <laughs> important to me, man. His it's guys, his all I'm saying is his organization has begun to talk with our organization. So his people mm -hmm. are dealing with our people. As Here's what I'll say: the only way you get him is if you do what we like to do, City. We always like to sign players and just leave them over there until the end of the year. What we do too. That's how we did with Christian Pulisic. Yeah, yep. we did to do that with Havertz, team over under. Well, did you do that with Havertz? Yeah, and Timo, mm -hmm. both of them. We, signed we just, we just, we just did it with a goalkeeper we got from MLS. Slowly, slowly, we, we yeah. Time, we did with Matt Miasma, mm -hmm. but he didn't work. But yeah, but um, I mean, if, if, if I don't see if, 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 Milan, if Milan could go in there and do that, then that's the only way I see that. Otherwise, I don't like the chances at all. Well. I wouldn't mind it. The earlier, the better. I don't think it will, it will happen until the summer. Um, but cool, cool. I'm, I think I'm we should excited. definitely try to go for him in January, but in reality, probably in the summer. Right. Yeah. Midfield, if Before if Randy, if, if the young is still available, or if he wants to leave, going no, for the young. Young is not one of the, no, he's a Barcelona. That player. man, that man, that man, that man drank the Barca Kool Aid. He's he's swam in it, bro. But he's, um, you would think you would think that what the treatment he's gotten from them from the upper brass would be enough to just be like there's no loyalty there. Yeah. But the man's swimming in the Kool Aid. He 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 he's in there forever. But um, before we put a wrap on this matchup, uh, we have to talk about Man U. But we don't have to do about all that. I just there's one piece from Man U that I really really want to talk about. Uh -huh. Jaden Sancho. What about Can we call it what it is? The man's a flop. Pen can, can we call him? Payden, Payden, no, Pencil. He is. He's a flop. I'm like, I'm you're, honest. you're not gonna. Okay, so this is beautiful because I want to know. I want to know why you're not gonna say that. Because to me, I think I've seen enough. You That's bought, it. you bought him. Hold on, you buy him from, you buy him from, Bundesliga. You buy him from Dortmund on account yeah. of his ability at Dortmund. Yo, the man was a threat. Every single time he stepped on the pitch. At Dortmund, that man did not finish the season less than 10 assists. Like, every time every time he stepped on the pitch, every time he received the ball, he's taking somebody on. 
I couldn't count to you how many backwards passes or the horizontal passes that man made during this during this game against Chelsea. To the point where Ten Hag got to take that man off at halftime. And he, he did rightfully so, took that man off at halftime. Come on now. And like, this is, this is stuff that, this is pretty consistent since Man U has spent the bread on this guy. How do you see that? Are, are you going to say, are you going to say Memphis buys a flop? In what sense? No, is, is, no, no, no. Is is he a, is his, did his career and uh, is, is he a flop? I mean, if you're looking at his career, no, you know, you know, he got to play some major clubs. Why would I say he's a flop? It's not a flop. So, no, but, I, but then, I'm saying his then, his move, was, his move. When, when I mean, Man U, his move to when they moved to Man U, everybody was like, flop. "Oh my God, he's a flop." I'm not. No, but I'm, that move was a flop. Though. Is, is a flop in Man U. He flopped that Man U, though. Here's, here's, Thank why. You. here's why. I'm not going to say flop because Fernando Torres moved to Chelsea was a flop. That is a flop because you perform in the Premier League and you're supposed to perform in the Premier League for another club and you flopped. Jalen Sancho is a young player. He had never played in the any kind of Big any kind of Premier League games ever. So I... I'm not gonna call him a flop. Not yet. He's been here two two seasons. His last manager was a dumpster fire whom they fired. <laughs> a dumpster fire whom they fired. No pun intended. But <laughs> what I'm saying is either way, clearly Eric Ted Hag does not find favor in him. Clearly. I so mean... What is he find favor in backwards passes? The man, okay. the man is just walking the negativity on the pitch. I don't see play, any reason to play him over no, Rashford I mean, or Anthony if, or Ronaldo. If that's what your opinion is. That's okay, but I I don't think he's a flop because I don't think he's even been given half the chances he was at Dortmund. Imagine <laughs> given half the chances. He was not. I, I'm sorry, he wasn't. He definitely was not. The man's, <laughs> the man's consistently in the 11, bro, despite no, his bad form. No, 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 no. No, that was like the first game he started. How many? They started him out of necessity. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a regular starter. He, he, he barely was that for um, Ole. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, you're right. He barely got time for Ole. But as far as, as far as the... Never as far as the last two seasons, ever. He's never been a regular starter, and and when he was a starter, a little bit, he kind of scored and produced. He scored against Chelsea. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, he, he scored that. The, the, the few, he just scored a goal like a few months ago, an important goal. Like he, when he started two, three matches, he's done something. But if you're not going to start him and show confidence in him, I've seen it. He's not going to produce because that's the kind of player he is. Dorman, he was a pencil in starter. That's why. He was no, he was a pencil in starter. He's never been anything close to Man U. And it's understandable because it's the Premier League. It's a big club and the Premier League. And there is no tomorrow. What you do now is everything. Okay? So you have faith. He's, how old is he, 23? No, he's not a flop. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, he's 22. He's turning 23 in March. Dude, okay. he's not a flop, bro. Only time Just will tell, but I haven't, I don't Just, see, I've seen to, enough of him. Be, oh, my God. Just call Thank me you. Just take it over. So, wait. Stop. So, okay. So, Zach, to you, he can save, he can save his Manchester United career. I mean, it's up to Manchester. United, it's not. It's, it's not up to. But that's the thing. I don't really think it is, though, because he's still getting. He's still getting minutes. He's still getting appearances. If you were, if you really, if you really performed, if you really took advantage of the opportunity you got, if you really, you know, if you really made a statement on the pitch to the point where you're looking at your manager dead in the eye, and 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 your it, your play is so good, it's like you're looking your manager dead in the eye and say, "I dare you not to start me." You know, there's perform like, come on, now it's that. Bruno, his well, 
I won't say recently, but you know, Bruno, the man's a pencil that started because what? Since he since he bought yo, it's like the moment he 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 put on a, a Red Devil uniform. Yeah, it's like the sun rose because of, other than that, it was just gray, cloudy, and rainy at, at Old Trafford. And then Bruno wears a, a, a uniform. Next thing you know, it's sun and shining again. You can see the clouds again. Like you remember how that feeling was. Come on now. But there's only one Bruno Fernandez. Even Cristiano Ronaldo, they're benching and they're. Not I mean that's that's because so, he can't dress. You know what I'm saying? He can't. So at the same he time, press. he can't press. What do you want? He can't run. What do you want him to do? What do you want him to do? Managers like who they like at the end of the day. All right. Managers like who they like, and some players, no matter how gifted they they are, just don't fit into how a manager plays. And that's okay. Doesn't mean Jadon Sancho can't go to another Premier League club and light it up. <laughs> so he's not a flop. He's just not in the right situation. All right. That's All what right. I think. But if you think it's a flop, that's perfectly understandable. Because at the end of the day, he hasn't produced like he did in the Bundesliga. If you want to say that, that's okay. But I don't think it's a flop. Let me just clarify. I don't think the player is a flop. I think he's very talented. I just think as far as his man, Manchester United player, he's a flop. You started off this say, but what about Jason Sancho? Flop. <laughs> Did you not say flop? Sex. Yes. That's Manchester United right now is a flop. Okay. And, and then you asked me about Memphis Depay, and I said his man you his man you think was a flop. Okay. You know, I'm consistent. Fair enough. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll put a wrap on that one. Next thing we wanted to look at here, guys. Liverpool. And not in Amphorus. Where do we begin here? Who's, who's to blame? Okay, so I will start out. Uh, this, this is all I will really, like, start by saying. Liverpool haven't really shown that they can win away this season. They haven't won their last 11 away matches. I think that's what it is. But, yeah, that's what it is. They, there's something going on at Liverpool. I mean, they can. What do you guys think it is? Well, first and foremost, I think... Well, I mean, to be honest, I don't even think they've been that strong, even at, at Anfield. I think I think there's a lot of recency bias with the performance that they had against City. And don't get me wrong, it was a phenomenal performance from their end. I definitely was not expecting that from, from them at all. I definitely thought Haaland was about to carry Van Dyke on, on his shoulder like this, <laughs> carrying himself into the goal. But, you know... They they defended him pretty well. They they you know put on put on uh, honestly Joe Gomez put on a put on a masterclass that day, bro. Joe Gomez was tough, tough. But like outside of that one game, they really haven't been strong. And I will say defensively, they cannot defend as well as Joe Gomez has been playing. He has a mistake in him. And the the one person you would say is the identity of Liverpool, Van Dyke. Ever since he's come back from his injury, the man has just not looked the same. The man is just, he just doesn't look confident. He and and for one of the I feel like one of the strongest points, at least for me watching DVD, was his um prediction. Prediction skills. Like a lot of a lot of biggest thing about being a That's center back. Yeah. That's the way you go. Better yeah. way to explain it, my fault. Um, oh, yeah. biggest thing biggest thing about being a center back is when you have a striker coming onto you on the run or if they're coming at you with a ball, you have to be able to anticipate which where they want to be able to go, put yourself in a, a good enough position to give yourself options. He's and that's something he was really good at, putting yeah. himself in a position while defending that gave him multiple options that if he had to make a split-second decision to go, you know, right or left or whatever, he'd have that option. But you think – you 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 think that's partly because of his his injury? Like maybe he doesn't like trust himself to be able to like move and make that split second decision and just like be able to move. I think so. I think so. I think because he he probably doesn't have the trust in it. He's biting. He's making a decision ahead of time instead of giving him the option. 
to decide later on. He's deciding way ahead of time and he's living with the decision. And as you can see, Liverpool is not living with those decisions. Thanks. What you think? Uh, Liverpool, uh, not a very good side at the moment. Uh, I think their win at Man City, well, at home against Man City, reminded us of what they can do. But overall, mm-hmm. this season, they, they they haven't been firing. Trent has been exposed. Salah not scoring as much as he's he's used to. Midfield, defensive midfield, they have a couple injuries there. And then, like you said, Van Dijk looks different. And uh, that's why they're mid-table right now. I think they're eighth or ninth. But it's like, you know, if they string a couple wins together, they can start, you know, pushing for Europa League places. But right now for Liverpool, it's just, it's a struggle. It's a, it's a long season for them. Things are looking bad though, it, like now, but if they, if they turn things around, they can, they can see, well, the title race is over though. Title race is definitely over for them, but. Oh, 100%, 100%. Well, I, let me not say that. I won't say 100%, I'll say 80%. Because I can definitely see the scenario where World Cup came over, guys are pretty slow coming back in, uh, and they, you know, start off to a terrible start. Like, if, if God forbid, <laughs> God forbid, knock on wood, but if by some reason we come back from a World Cup, our main guys, we have De Bruyne going, we have, you know, all of England going, all that stuff. Our main guys come and they pick up a knock or two and that gives us a slow startup and we go three draws and a loss off the spin. I think that's the kind of runway Liverpool needs to, to get back into the mix of things. It depends what players get get injured to, like coming back from the World Cup. Also, some players that are not even going to go in the first place for Chelsea. And that's going to definitely affect how things play out the end. But speaking of, you bring up a great point. How much is your of your roster is actually going to the World Cup? I think we have like the, the biggest oh. contingent, like the highest. Yo, amount. I was, isn't it like over seventy five percent of your roster? Yeah, they're all like international. Jeez. It's so. Uh, hey, Conte ain't going nowhere. I mean, Conte ain't going nowhere. You have to be first off. You need to hope that man that man comes back with an actual hip. Fine. You should you should be you should be calling NASA to go and build him a hip. That's what you should be doing. Conte coming back in the least bit. He'll be fine. Kante, four Jesus. months hamstring. Yeah, I think it's a... It's a hamstring injury. He'll be fine. We, we he's going to lose his He needs a new lower half. But, um, yeah, he's... everybody else, yeah, they're, they're starters. They're not just going away. They're starters, most of them. As I, I said, 75% of them are going to their country. Out of that 75 Maybe seventy percent of that seventy five are starters. It's it's one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I mean, a lot of a lot of my squad is going, but a good portion of my squad are bench guys. Like for example, Edison. Edison's Edison's going there to be backup. Let's be honest. No, he's not. Allison is the starter, bro. Allison is the starter. I like Edison better than Allison. That's me too. But Allison is the better if. And I, I hate to say this. I don't know how this better. I, no, I hate to say this. In a, if, if you need clutch saves, if you need clutch saves, Allison is a notch better than Edison. However, Edison is way better at ball distributor. So that's what I like. I like ball distribution. I like to start out quick. And Edison is just, he gives me a better option about that. With that, rather. So and that's why. Allison is... What's his name? Um, Mendy. Yeah. <laughs> See what it is. <laughs> so, Basically. Yeah, it's okay. I like it. 
Okay, last question on Liverpool before we put a wrap on that. Um, they actually are in the same boat in, with you guys in terms of a good portion of their main team is going to be away at the World Cup. That being said, with the dire straits that they're in, it's actually two prompt question. One, do you think they need to make any moves in January to save their season? If so, throw out a couple of names if you have it. And number two, do you think they'll even make any moves? Now, me personally, I'm gonna go in reverse. I don't think they're gonna make any moves. Liverpool owners are the cheapest owners that I've ever seen in my life. I like I can I don't understand I don't understand a club that that wants to be great but whose owners don't want to really invest like that. Darwin Nunes, hundred million. I mean Luis Diaz. I mean now okay, so so you were so you two players. How long Conate. has Club been there? No 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 two players. How long has Club been there? Conate. <laughs> Add, add up that valuation and then tell me how long Klopp has been there. Darwin Nunes was a hundred million. Yes. One year. Konate. That, you know, Kon, Kon, Konate was another. I, I'm, I don't want to just. I'll say forty. I'll say, say, is that fair? Is that fair? Forty. Forty to sixty in that range. Sixty was, for Konate. He was a highly rated defender, bro. Really. I don't know okay. exactly how much, but I'm just saying the range. No, I need to Google Church now. How much, but 40 to 60 in, in that range. Um, They paid 36. Oh, 36. They paid, they paid 36, so we're at 136. Louisiana, I think, was 50. So. They paid, they paid 37. I don't know who they, they, they're they trying to sign. They paid 37. But they definitely that's, should look into the transfer. We're at, we're at 180 right now between yeah, three that's, players. That's we're at the, 180. That's, that's the last three, three seasons. Yeah. So. And they paid 45 for Jota. So we're under two. We're still under 200 million for four players. I'm not saying that like they're the most spending club, but I'm not going to say that they're the cheapest. Talk to them, <laughs> You want to go cheap? <laughs> Look at Tom. Tom. No. <laughs> Spurs. <laughs> That's it. Now you see. Hold on, hold on. Now, now you see. Spurs has never been synonymous with winning. So they cheap. Well, right. no, Chris, like you said, they are cheap. Yeah, That's but they, 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 you look at you look at Spurs. They don't look at club that aspires for anything. You look at Liverpool, their their own fans will tell you they're aspiring for things. They're not cheap though. They, they, they're they're cheap. Spent 100 million. It's how much is it? It's spent 100 million on one player. It doesn't, it, 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 doesn't it, what you're telling me. I understand what you're telling me, but I understand what you're telling me, but that doesn't matter to me because I'm looking at I'm looking at when Klopp was hired. Klopp was hired in 2015. It is 2022. We're yes. at two hundred. We're at two hundred million since twenty fifteen that they spent on no, players. No, 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 you're wrong. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. Because when Klopp was hot, that's when they got Mane and Salah and them went like Klopp's first season. That's when they got those guys. Come on, bro. They probably spent at least a hundred million for Klopp's first season. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. They're, they are not the most spending club. I understand, but they're not. You know, you know, you know they only paid they only paid thirty six million for Salah, right? Right, but then what about money? Because they have the same season. Uh, we have a party <laughs> crasher joining us. What about um Fabinho? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, this time, man. Yeah. Very, very serious. Very, very. Serious. They only paid. They only paid twenty two million for 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 money. Only twenty two million for money, Abby. They, bro, they bought more than just Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah. I but, understand that, but the play. I understand that. But they, the, they spent almost a hundred million. It's not like they were cheap. 
It was 20, 20, 22, 36. These were, these were unproven players, guy. guy. Like, they, yes. It's not like they were cheap. <laughs> it's not like they were cheap. Those, those are players that those are players the the club wanted. Those are players that the club wanted. Is it not? It's not like they were cheap. <laughs> those players, Sadio Mane was a proven Premier League player. Before he ever moved to Liverpool, he scored the fastest hat trick in the history of the Premier League. I saw okay. 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 <laughs> so they weren't cheap, right? And you say you said about this about Mane. Would you believe that? We bought <laughs> Mane and Sterling were both bought at the same time. Mane went for twenty two. Sterling was double the price of Mane. Sterling was a highly rated teenager. Sterling was eighteen years old. Mane was what, twenty two? That's four years apart. But yo, on, bro. Sterling was. I think Liverpool are cheap. Liverpool, Liverpool are definitely cheap, though. They, they are. Yeah, they're they're are. They don't spend as much money as they, as they should, and uh, yes. they miss out on signings because of it. Thank you, yeah, Zach. I hear what you're saying, but you're doing 2020 hindsight. You're doing 2020 hindsight poison you because you're looking at the development of Klopp. Klopp turned Klopp turned bargain buys into superstars. That's what he did. It. That's who he wanted. They got him where he wanted. If they're not cheap, they spent a hundred million on a striker, just like stupid Chelsea did. They're not cheap, bro. What you say? I don't understand what y'all say. They're not. That cheap. was the price tag on a striker. Besides was... Chelsea, come on, that, they just did that. Oh, what do you mean? They just did that. Darwin Nunes. What are you saying? They're not cheap, bro. Stop. They're not cheap. No, there's no way. 100. Who spends 100 million on a striker? Come on, bro. This besides Chelsea, obviously. You're looking at it. You're looking at a lot of money recently, but that doesn't excuse. That is a excuse for their image. Their image is they're not cheap. Do you know who's cheap? Talk they're cheap. They're, they're cheap. They're cheap. Can we move on, please? They're talk, cheap. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> it's cheap. Okay, so <laughs> So you want to talk about Tottenham? Let's talk about Tottenham. It's over them. It's over them, boys. It's over them, boys. What do you mean it's over? What, what's over? Like, what, what's over? I, I think, I think, I think, I think. They were never in the title race. No, I think what I'm saying. No, no, no. They were never in the title race. And what I'm saying is now that they're out of the top four, we're not going to see them back in the top four. Oh, it's over. You count it? They're still okay. third, though. What, where do you think, it's not over. what do you think Tottenham is going to end they're up still third. at the end of the season? Yeah, the end of the season? Oh, six. six. But that, that's six. usually where they end up, though. So it's not really over then, is it? They no, finished off the last season. Last oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, think you know, Tottenham, they have a better team than Man U, good. if you look at their team. It's, it's not over, yeah. It's, they got a better team than Man U. And they got a better coach. So they they're going coach, through definitely. a bad patch right now. That's like can't I... Huh? <laughs> Go to be on. honest, go on. To, to be honest, I I can no longer, with full confidence, say I can't look at Antonio Conte like the same anymore. I, I don't hmm. the way he has the way he has his Tottenham playing. God, yeah. I, I, when I have trouble sleeping, I turn on film of Tottenham. I'm sorry, I can't. Uh... Why? Why can't you looking at him? <laughs> the guy, the guys that no, I can't, I can't with full confidence say Tottenham is a better is a, I mean Tottenham is a better coach. I can't because I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing on one hand, I'm seeing Ten Hag come in with at Man U, right? What do you say? Antonio Conte has won the Premier League. What has Ten Hag done in the Premier League? Uh, if you're if you if you're telling me that Conte has the better resume. That's not a, that's not up for discussion. If you're telling me, if you're telling me that he has the, I'm, I, all I'm telling you is, what have you done for me lately? In 2022, who's the better okay, manager in 2022? That's called recency bias. Of this season, what, and what that's this not really business? good for analytics. You cannot use recency what? to analyze something. What do you mean you can't use recency? No, 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 because that's not fair. Okay, that's, that's not, not fair analytics. analytics. You have to use everything to put it all together. That's that's an actual analytic. 
That's why right. it's better than Conte without including everything. Right. So you can't just say in the year Ten Hag has been better than Conte. So Ted Hag is better than Conte. Okay, oh. this is a fair statement. You can say at this very moment. Wait, wait, so hold on. So wait, wait, so hold on. He's performing better than Conte. So wait, hold on. So wait. I just, I just. So wait, no, no. I just want to. I just using your explanation. I just want to. I'm gonna write a scenario, and I just want your answer. Okay. We have Coach A. We have Coach B. Right. I'm not gonna say any names. Not gonna say nothing. We have Coach A. We have Coach B. I like scenarios. We have Team A, Team B. Right. Both Team A and Team B. Their goal is to get into top four. All right. We have Coach A. Coming in and performing the job after after yeah, starting off looking cut, terrible. You're cutting out. Now he's performing the job they're top four. Yeah. We have we have coach we have coach B of team B. Right. Well they, they've gone I out of top four. Yeah. What are you saying? We just lost them. Um well, I think you're trying to compare the both oh. both uh coaches, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, for me it's definitely concert. Yeah, I mean, Me the guy has just a better rec- track record. He's proven himself. He's uh, actually he's proven disrespect more. to compare him to somebody who hasn't even proved himself Imagine. in agree. a league like that. Totally agree. You know? Yes, totally agree with that. Imagine. Because um, Ted Hack just joined the Premier League. Conte has won in the Premier League, as well as winning in Italy and wherever, just like Ted Hack has. But Ted Hack hasn't won anything. In the Premier League, so to compare these two coaches, yeah, no, I totally agree with that. Promise, it's it's it's, it's just like it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think his phone probably me. died, or his phone was dying, and he didn't know. Phone, oh, okay. I'm here. Yeah, right. so, I, mean, I guess we we have to talk about Arsenal, man. Those Gunners. Hey, man, I. As much as I hate to say, I gotta give them their their flowers. Um, but you know, I'm still gonna be a skeptic because um, they haven't played any really top team. When they met Manu, they lost. If they meet teams yes. like Chelsea, Tottenham, okay, no, okay, no. they beat Tottenham. Shit. Top. But Tottenham is really the top team. They're out of the top four. True. True. When they met Newcastle, then they tied. Or they haven't met. When they met good teams, and they just tied to Southampton, even though we lost to Southampton. So maybe Southampton is better than their record. You know. If you want to say. You know. Um, <laughs> usually, when a team wins, right? You you kind of feel this sense of they're either gonna keep going or if it's luck. And right now, I feel like. A lot of people are watching Arsenal just being skeptical that they're going to fail. They're going to fail. So it's yes. a hard judgment to make. I guess we just have to wait. But they don't seem like a team that's so stacked that they're going to keep that momentum going. I think what's really making them successful right now is their coach. I don't know if you guys have heard him talk in the locker room and how passionate he is. I think that's what's keeping that team together. The way he really, like, uh, Mikel Ateta really, like, he's very passionate. You know, he's a young coach, and the first season, he didn't do so good. So, he has everything to prove this season, or he's going to lose his job. So, he's doing a good job keeping that team together. As long as they keep going like that, they're definitely going to be top four, without a doubt. Without a doubt. But as far as winning the cha- the Premier League, I'm going to I'm gonna be skeptical. I don't think they're going to. And if I I'm am, wrong, I'm wrong. I'm definitely skeptical. Yes. Um, I think yeah. they're going to end up in top three. And Chelsea is going to be second. Yep. Yes, I, you are. Man City is going to lose a lot more than you think. Excuse me? I think Man City is going to lose a lot more than you think. How be- so? Be- what club do you support? I'm a Chelsea fan now. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. I want to dive into that actually. Let's dive into Man City. What so, are we diving into? How much three one win. Man City is gonna lose. I, I think they they're, they're either gonna tie a lot more games, and they're mm-hmm. gonna drop. I, I just feel like they're gonna drop a lot more points because it's hard to be a consistent team for what four years in a row like that. It comes a time where that that chemistry, We've, that morale, starts to fade away. 
based on it's been five five exactly even more like there's a time chelsea was dominating top two like that for a while it's they're gonna start to fall off this is their season to fall off look at liverpool this is the season where liverpool and man city are gonna fall off and other teams are gonna take over chelsea's slacking right now chelsea should be taking over this is this is this is this is Bias? No, it's not bias. I'm this is normal that. for Liverpool now. Huh? This is this is normal for Liverpool now. I just want to say this is normal. For, remember, outside of the the year that they won the championship, there was the two years where they where they lost by a, a, a combined total of three points to us. And then remember the two the two years after that, this one and the year before the uh, the two years before the championship. It's the same thing we're looking at. Mid table team. Go look at the table. This is normal for Liverpool, so don't this compare. Don't compare us to, 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 to no. But this season is different, though. You know why? Because you got teams like Arsenal okay, that are nobodies seen. competing. So now it's not just Liverpool and Man City. Chelsea's always consistent. We always gonna be at least top four, top three. So we're always gonna be yeah, there competing yes. for that at least. So now you add Fair Arsenal enough. into the picture. What do you think, Messi? So, and then you got Liverpool and uh, Man City. It's, if they don't stay as consistent like they were before, they're not going to make it. Like, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Do you know who we have? Who Wait, sorry, when you say who, who we, who are, who are you guys? Man City now. Oh, Man City. Okay. Oh, different. oh. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow. I don't have to ask you to win, but that's what we're going to do. King leading our line guy. That guy, bro. 21 okay. goals already this season oh, in one competition. Bro, what did, the, what did he do? What did he do against Liverpool? Did you see him do anything like when he's playing top teams? Watch when they play Chelsea. He put, one, get on the ground. I saw that. <laughs> he put one He put one of your guys on the ground. I saw that. It's four goals. Okay, he's yeah, four I, goals, bro. He's Liverpool, the, the, Liverpool okay, decided, decided to show up. There's a difference between Liverpool decided to show up. Being informed, he's he's informed. But I'm telling you, against top teams. He's been informed since he signed for Dortmund. Of course. But again, this is the Premier League. And he has a good start. Okay. I'm not one of those who's going to jump on the bandwagon. Now it's turning to a good start. Before, it was just the Premier League. You can't, ex- you can't be expected to, to, to boss the Premier League like the Bundesliga. That's what okay. he was before. How many goals does he have in the Champions League? This is the Premier League. He's also a good Champ- start. Okay. Soon Champions it will be. I want to know what How be. many goals does he have in Champions League this season right now? Twelve. No, he doesn't. Twelve in Champions League this season. Twelve. No, oh, no, I'm lying. Champ- I'm telling you. Maybe, maybe he has three. Bro, or four. There's been games maybe. where Man City has struggled. He has four. Oh, they're doing cool. Then. Probably three or four, honestly. He has 20 goals in the Premier League, though. But that's going to trickle down, bro. It is. I'm telling you. It should trickle down. It doesn't matter. Okay. Even if it trickles down, if, even if it trickles down, regardless of whatever weight rate, sorry, rate you think it's going to trickle down at, he's still breaking the Premier League record. Oh, I'm not worried about 20. that. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Oh, okay. But, you know, people are expecting he has 20 by this point. People are expecting to reach like 50 or something. I'm just saying it's going to trickle down. It's not going to get higher than what we're already seeing right now. This is like a very a good start. It's like the most beautiful start he can have. He's not going to be scoring another 20 goals in the next five games. It's going to be trickling down from here. He has five goals already in the Champions League. He has how many? Okay. Five. five. That's not bad. In what, six games? They just finished the group stages. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But Man City is the top team. They're winning. Teams. It's actually, um, it's actually five get five goals and three Champions League appearances. Damn, that's pretty good. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank really you. Good. Start walking it back. I, start, I'm not start walking back some I'm not things we're seeing. On the guy. I just, I just thank feel you. like it will trickle down though. I don't see it going at higher. At the end of the like, season, but the the more it goes on, the 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 harder it is it's gonna be for him to score because. The defenders are gonna know. That's him what better. I'm saying, bro. I'm, I'm I'm saying it from a striker's perspective. So it's like right now, it's Good like, teams. oh, oh my god, I can't, I don't know what's going on. But, but y'all are thinking, y'all are thinking he has the likes of the service that y'all have to deal with at, at Stamford Bridge. No, 
not even think of Bernardo Silva. Guy. Okay, wow. well, look, guess what happens? When, okay, that same guys that you're mentioning, De Bruyne, Bernardo, all these, they play Chelsea in Champions yeah, League, right? I'm telling you, in real serious games, in, in uh, semifinals or, or quarterfinals, those type of games, bro. Yeah, De Bruyne is going to be on the field, all that stuff, but it's going to be like a 1 0 2 1 3 3 2 type of matches. They're not going to be scoring mad goals, and if they do, it's not going to be him all the time. It's going to be a collective team effort, Man City. Especially with Foden. Here's what you're not realizing. Here's what you're not realizing. In all the matches, in all those big matches, like you said before, like you said, yeah, it's going to be that 1-0, that 2, that 3-2, that, that, yeah, that tight scoreline. And we've always lost because of what? Like you said, it has to be a team effort. We don't know where the goal is coming from. Now we have that guy up front where we know we can, if we force the ball to, he, he's going to get at least one in. And while the defenders are trying to stop him, we have our re- the regular the rest of the team right. to go in right. the post. Very you see? You're right. Yeah. But that's I, what I'm, that's the so, whole point I'm making is that the defenders are going to stop him eventually. But you guys will still score. That's what makes you guys a top team. You guys will still find Thank a way. Much. But his goals will trickle down. That's all I'm saying. I mean, honestly, I hope he doesn't. I want him to break records. I like to see players just come and break records so we can have a, another Ronaldo and Messi. You know, but... I mean, you know he's already there. He's already at that level. All right, chill honest. out, man. Come on, man. I mean, no. I mean, come on. Come like, on. Let's be, let's be honest. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying like he's already like Ronaldo status, and but I'm saying like he's already at the level to the point where he's he's not. He's 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 this generation's Ronaldo. This generation's Messi. Like he's not even at it. Not this level. What do you say? Oh, that's a good question right there. Actually. What do you think Mbappe a man city over Haaland? Hell no. Oh my Hell god, no. god. Hell no. Mbappe, no. Mbappe's attitude? Attitude. We're talking um, about I, football. Attitude, his attitude doesn't come into my team. He does not come into my team. Is, is hurling Haaland on Mbappe's level? I don't think so. What do you guys You're say? only thinking about that because of the World Cup. And I'm sorry. Hold on, but Mbappe is not an ST, though. He's more of like a winger. Striker. Agreed. So it's Agreed. not a perfect comparison. He's a striker better than Hala. That's just me. If you're saying, if you're, if you, so you're saying he's a better striker. Let's look at finishing. Finishing. Just think about finishing. Who's the better finisher? If you was to have a one-on-one with the goalkeeper, who would you pick, Mbappe or Hala? One-on-one with a goalkeeper. I would pick bro, Mbappe probably, all day, bro. Yeah, I'd probably go Mbappe. Be like, honest, it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip, really. It's a coin flip. Yeah. Have you seen Mbappe's top it's a coin flip. corner finishes where he finesses it and means to put it there? You would argue how long. Yeah. I, I can say, I, I tell you that he has some nice top corner finishes, but also Alan has his fair share of finishes. Alan has well. a lot of goal yeah. coaching, like, tap ins, which, which is a great striker attribute to be in the right place at the right time. That's something you cannot teach. But no. to finish top corners, mean it, finesse it there, that's also finishing that's, like, intentional. You know what I mean? Okay, I understand that. But I, what I'm saying is, to your point, how long do you have a, a good number of goal portion goals? Like you said, that's a skill that you cannot mm-hmm. teach. But you have to call it what it is. It's a skill. It is. Something that so- sells it. Really good skill. That Which he has. skill would you rather so have? I can't I think... take away from him. So, so the fact that the fact that the fact that Bobby has a bit better finishing touch. All right, I agree with you that. But let's look at that for what it is. He has a bit higher finishing touch because his ability to put himself in positions to post goals isn't as great as Alvarez. So, so you would prefer a goal poacher and... than somebody who can create and finish. Yeah, that's fair. I'd rather that's that, fair. but that isn't to say. But that isn't to say. But I, yeah, but that isn't to say that Haaland can't create his own goals. We've seen enough. I think he can. Not, not as much it's as Mbappe, though. Not nearly as good. Yeah, as Mbappe will run through niggas. Well, well, that's my question. That's my question here. When you say it's not good as Mbappe, where have you I seen? But you already know that. I know that. At creating, at creating his own goals, Erling Haaland is not as. Good as Mbappe. Yeah, yeah, this is agreed. I've agreed there. I've agreed there. That's that's all I was saying. Oh, 
Okay, no, I but you know, it, 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 if you really break down both players, but you know, Holland would not fit in PSG because PSG has players that are kind of single minded and they would not create those goal poaching opportunities. But in PS, uh, in Man City, you have like De Bruyne that would send crosses in positions where Holland needs to be Thank at the right you. time. It's key That's why to what he does best. If Haaland Thank played you. for PSG, they would not be sending him he those won't. passes or those dangerous yeah. spots. He would still score. They would, they would be dribbling. But it, it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be like. He wouldn't fit. Yeah. So I think yeah. it, just, it depends on the team, you know. Um, I don't think so. I think Haaland, I think Haaland is a chameleon. I think he could fit wherever. Really? I think so too. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I think, think so, so too. But I don't think, I don't think it would be as, it would look as like it does at Man City. Because you guys literally, your play style literally catered to work exactly, especially best. with De Bruyne. And that De Bruyne sends balls. He would have to work. He, he would have to work harder at other teams to get his goals. He does not have to work as hard at Man City. I agree. I agree there. But to promise a specific point on PSG, I do think that while they're not set up exactly to the same level, the same degree as Man City. I don't think it's that much of a drop off because I do see them set up similarly in similar positions. Because you have the way they use Messi, that's how we use Bernardo, and to a certain extent, um, when where if you take away Kevin De Bruyne's drop back, that's how Messi plays over at PSG. Basically, talk about forward facing in the final third. That's basically the 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 way he's able to interchange with the passing play with Mbappe when they do their one twos. And and Mbappe will get in, in in a place to score. If not, he'll get that. He'll give that back. And you, that's where we've seen the wonder goals that Messi has been giving us this season in league game. So you got a point. I, and you have and when you add in the fact that you have uh, Neymar on the opposite side, that's why Jack Grealish, Phil Foden. I think so, you're wrong. What is it? I think you're so wrong. Really? Well, yeah, and, Messi played nothing alike. I think you're very wrong. I didn't say that they play like right. Oh, who is Yao Cancelo? <laughs> who is Yao Cancelo? Because Yao Cancelo is actually the player who has the most touches in that city. Who is Yao Cancelo in PSG? Hold on. Who, who is Yao Cancelo in PSG? Akimi. Akimi doesn't pull up like Joao Cancelo, man. He... Oh, God. Go back and start. Go back oh, and come watch on, come on. Bro. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Go back and watch us. <laughs> to the front of the boxes. He won't. Okay, so he won't. Listen, Hakimi will not drop into midfield. He won't be able no, to. No, don't get me ball, wrong. Ball over the top. Hakimi goes he up. Be able to balls over the top like, he won't be able to ping balls over the top like Cancelo. He won't be able to drop in. Okay, we've settled that. Who is Kevin De Bruyne on, on, on PSG? Oh, I said now take away his drop back. That's messy. No, no. I said you if you take away his defensive work weight. That's messy. No, no. Messi is not passing like the Bruyne, man. No, 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 no. Messi is not passing like he's the Bruyne. He's not. Messi is not passing bro, like the Bro, bro, don't bro, 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 please don't uh, even Messi make just, me. Bro, no, no, I'm disrespecting you. I'm, don't disrespect the Bruyne. Messi is not. Messi, have you seen Messi do a big cross? From far away, Messi can't ping in one. Yeah, no, so no, Messi does not ping balls. Messi dribbles and does a tap side pass or like a two ball behind the defense. defense. I've seen the sum of that. Wait, I've never seen Messi cross the ball in my life. Actually, have Messi ever crossed the ball in his life? Has Messi crossed the ball from the side of the corner line? We're not saying we're not saying that's what he does well, best. That's what the Bruyne does. Kevin De Bruyne's best attribute, his best attribute, shooting, passing. Messi's best attribute. I mean, he's a midfielder. What? The, the, that's what you want from your midfielder. He's a different <laughs> passer. Messi <laughs> dribbles it's different. It's different. and does a through ball. It's the, that's that's my point. It's different. You can't compare Messi to Kevin, bro. Kevin you know what? what? Bro, I'm sorry. You know what? This is gonna go on. Let's 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 All pause right. here. Let's, let's save let's save let's save this topic for the next we'll yeah, start we'll, we'll start with this we'll start with this topic for the next episode. Okay, that's, okay. that's what we'll do. We'll start this topic for the next episode because we have to if we will go all yeah, night. Um we did we did have one more, but we'll also save that topic for the next one. We'll start that one. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, where did Shugs go? Uh, yeah, I was wondering the same thing. So, hold on. Question. Does he stop it or do we stop it? Um, I think Shug stops it, but maybe he's... It will. So, it's, it's recording right now, right? Yes, he did. It's still All right. Let's end it here, guys. Thank you. This was a fantastic episode. If you listen for this long, you're amazing. We love you. Hope you tune in for the next one. Yep. Peace. Talk to peace. Peace out. That's what we'll end it there. <laughs> Shugs, right. you could uh, edit this one out. Um, sheesh. Oh, the guy woke up.